स्पेशल एडिशन नमस्कार गुड इवनिंग यू वॉचिंग द स्पेशल एडिशन ऑफ द न्यूज आर एंड आई एम स्वाति जोशी अमिड एंगर एंड आउटरेज ओवर कोलकाता रेप एंड मर्डर हॉर द सीबीआई प्रोब इज ऑल्सो इंटेंसिफाइंग इन द केस सीबीआई क्वेश्चन फॉर्मर आरजी कर प्रिंसिपल फॉर द सेकंड डे सोर्सेज से दी अरेस्टेड अक्यूज संजॉय रॉय फर्स्ट विजिटेड द हॉस्पिटल एट इलेवन पी एम एंड देन लेफ्ट विद इन थर्टी मिनट्स ही विजिटेड द हॉस्पिटल अगेन बिटवीन थ्री फोर्टी फाइव टू थ्री फिफ्टी एम एंड केम आउट आफ्टर थर्टी मिनट्स ही इज अंडर स्क्रूटनी एज द ट्रेनी डॉक्टर हु वॉज रेप्ड एंड मर्डर्ड वॉज ऑन नाइट ड्यूटी Times now confronted Sandeep Ghosh, who denied reports that CBI confronted him with accused Sanjay Roy. फल्स इनफरमेशन देवें ना सीबीआई आवाज सीबीआई अरेस्ट करी प्रथम कथा जिज्ञास द्वित कथा और यहाँ पूरा अंडार इन्भेस्टिगेशन आज कि एक सबिनय अनुरोध प्लिज रिमार्स पेड करबेंटा जो देख लम कि मीडिया से संजय के संगे नहीं बस एग्लो क्योंकि पूरा भूल एरक कि जिज्ञासबाद कर खुली भी भलो व्यवहार कर Well, you heard what the reaction was. Now, the father of the victim has questioned how no one noticed that she was missing from 3 a.m. till 10 a.m. despite the fact that she was on call doctor. He demanded the suspension of the entire department. Victim's mother also asserted that not one but more people are involved in the crime. ये जो नहीं हमरा फोटोल डिपार्टमेंट के दायित्व है डिपार्टमेंट संगे दुख तो आती नहीं थी डिपार्टमेंट के काफी लोग ये ना सकते आज कुछ तो डिपार्टमेंट आमादे संगे कोनो कथा बोल रही है आज के आठ नौ दिन होए गए तो डिपार्टमेंट जाते हैं दायित्व में हम मेटा जो करने पड़ते थे तो हम आमादे संगे कथा बोल रही है उल्टे सिंसिबल बोल चाहे आमार घरे आस्था लावा संगे कथा बोलते हैं उत्तम दिन ही जिसे हम मेटा मारा गया उत्तम दिन के कौन हैं उत्तम दिन के कौन हैं कौन दिन � आसल दोषी धारा पड़े गए थे। बोल रहे हैं अमी बोले थे ना अमी ओके आसल दोषी मने कोर्ची ना दीदी। आसल दोषी ओ जो दियो बाहरे बेहतर है क्यों ना था क्ले। ओ की कोरे जान लो रात्ते आमर मेरे सेमिनार रूम में रहे थे। मैडम तो खून माथा निचु कोरे थी। बोल रहे हैं पुलिस के बोल रहे हैं जे ए आमार मेर बॉडी देखे जाम होने हो जाए ऐका दरा किचुत्ते संभव ना एवं मने फॉरेंसिक डिपार्टमेंट के अनेक डॉक्टर रहे ऐसे चीन आमार बाड़ी थे तारा बोले चीन ऐका दरा किचुत्ते संभव ना After the Calcutta High Court came down heavily on the West Bengal government, uh, now the case has reached the doorsteps of the Supreme Court. Three separate letters petitioning the apex court to take sumo to cognizance have been written. Two letters have been written by Supreme Court advocates Rohit Pandey and Ujwal Gaur, who have urged the Supreme Court to send a resounding message that heinous crimes won't be tolerated. Even as disturbing details emerge in the Kolkata horror, the mob attack on R.G. Kar Hospital has only enraged the medical community further. Times now spoke to a nurse who witnessed the mob attack on the hospital, and this is what she said: "A mob, जो बहुत aggressive है, बहुत aggressive, पूरा मतलब दानव जैसा उसमें है, जो जोश था." तो वो अंदर आया पूरा बैरिकेड तोड़ के अंदर आया पुलिस भाग रहा था पहले उसके पीछे पीछे वो लोग भाग रहा था लेडीज टॉयलेट में घुस गया पेशेंट लोग के ब्लैंकेट लेके छुप गया और हम लोगों को बोला कि आप लोगों का ड्रेस दीजिए मुझे सिविल में रहना है ताकि कोई नहीं पहचान पाए वो पुलिस है पहले हम लोग के दिमाग में फर्स्ट चीज आया पेशेंट को हम लोगों को सेफ करना है तो सब पेशेंट को केयरफुल रहने के लिए बोला हमने हम लोग आश्वास दिया कि प्लीज डोंट पैनिक वी आर विथ यू सो यू हर्ड द नर्स देर सेइंग दैट द कॉप्स देमसेल्व्स वर हाइडिंग फ्रॉम द मॉब The Doctors Association has decided to intensify their stir following the mob violence. With IMA announcing partial suspension of medical services will remain in effect till 6 a.m. tomorrow. One was a crime in a workplace, and the next one was an assault on a hospital. The uh, hospital attack, as we call it, 
and such an attack in the middle of the night could not have been a response of one person who committed the crime it gives a, a doubt that there is a, a organized thinking behind this crime and the mob went up to the third floor which is the crime site so there are reasons to believe one it was to terrorize the students from staying away from the protest and perhaps that it also means that there was an attempt to destroy the evidence With strikes and protests spreading like wildfire across the country the union health ministry has requested the doctors to resume their duties the ministry has assured doctors of taking all possible measures to ensure safety of medics and proposed formation of a panel to suggest the measures to ensure safe working environment for doctors even as mamta government is being targeted over brutal crime the west bengal government has transferred over 40 doctors bjp alleges that these doctors were transferred for protesting against the kolkata horror BJP has also hit out at Mamata Banerjee over her protest rally yesterday asking who is she protesting against when both home ministry and health ministry are with her the state TMC means talibani mindset and culture tana shahi mujhe chahiye in a dictatorial fatwa the bengal government has apparently removed a fatwa transfer order of 43 doctors who raised their voice for justice for bengal's beti This is the mindset of the Bengal government and Bengal police. The same Kolkata police could do nothing to stop the vandals from ransacking RG Hospital, but the priorities of West Bengal government is not beti bachao. It is balatkari bachao and silence those who are raising the voice for the beti. This shows that those who talk about samvidhan bachao are actually the true fascists and dictators. Dobara kehti hu tera rep mera rep ki politics ko band kare Mamta ji. क्या आप लड़की के बलात्कार के लिए उसके इंसाफ के लिए हिंदुस्तान की जनता तभी आवाज उठाएगी उस लड़की की और उस प्रदेश की पॉलिटिक्स को देखकर विरोध प्रदर्शन किसके खिलाफ किया प्रदेश के होम मिनिस्टर ममता जी हैं हेल्थ का चार्ज किसके पास है मुख्यमंत्री कौन है तो किसके खिलाफ वो प्रदर्शन कर रही थी अपने खिलाफ जनता की आंखों में धूल झोंकना बंद करें जनता जो जवाब मांग रही है उन जवाबों को दें एलआई कांग्रेस आल्सो टारगेटेड वेस्ट बंगाल चीफ मिनिस्टर सेइंग दैट शी इज इंडल्जिंग इन अ पॉलिटिकल प्ले सिमिलर टू दैट ऑफ द बीजेपी सम्टाइम्स शी डज द पॉलिटिक्स ऑफ बीजेपी सो सिमिलरली सी इज आल्सो डूइंग एंड ऑफ कोर्स बंगाल लाइक दिस वेरी कंट्राडिक्टरी पॉलिटिक्स and you are right also that uh, it is her government of course they should take care of law and order and stay, instead of uh, having a demonstration and stuff but of course uh, bjp is not less than i heard of that under attack from the bjp and ally congress tmc alleged that there was an attempt to tarnish the image of bengal and listed steps taken by the state government to counter allegations uh, of cover up tmc sagarika goes asserted that the prime minister the prime accused in the case was arrested by the kolkata police within 24 hours of the horrific crime she said that cm mamta met the family without any photo ops to ensure privacy and dignity she also referred to multiple assurances from the state government that no one involved will be spared and every security lapse will be investigated The TMC leader also said that CM called for CBI inquiry even before the High Court ordered it. Let's open this up and go across to our guests. We're joined by Said Zafar Islam, national spokesperson of the Bharatiya Janata Party. We have Gargi Nandi Roy, political analyst; Dalita Kumar Mangalam, former chairperson of the NCW; Kamru Zaman Chaudhary, political analyst; Tosif Ahmed Khan, lawyer and political analyst; and we also have Professor Monojit Mandal, political analyst on the broadcast. Good evening to all of you. And first, bring in uh, Tosif Ahmed. Tosif Ahmed, yes, the. chief minister initially did say that uh, the state has no problem if the central agency is handed over the probe but right after that immediately within a few hours a seven day ultimatum was given to the police and you know while you may say that the bjp is politicizing the congress is politicizing the left is politicizing what do you have to say about the parents of the victim the father is pointing out how initially the police did not maintain any transparency with them and now under pressure they are acting how would you respond to that how would you counter that you see in this crucial time the rumor market is very high what was the first rumor that police tried to cover up 
a case and started a suicide case. That is point number one. Whenever there is no complaint, a police will start an inquest registering an unnatural death case. And after the post-mortem report is received, it naturally converts into an FIR. And in this case, it resulted into an FIR of a rape and murder case. But throughout, everywhere, in the social media and even in the mainstream media, even on your channel, people have come and said that police had started a suicide case. They were doing a such cover-up and this is a total false allegation. Secondly, fractures. People talked about that. The body had fractures, but the post-mortem report did not talk about that. Thirdly, 150 grams of semen indicating that dozens and maybe hundreds of people had gang raped the victim. They, that also is a false statement. The counsel who was appearing on behalf of the uh, family who had filed the high court, uh, the petition in the high court has accepted, admitted mm. that yes, there's no, no mention uh, of, there's no proof of the quantity of the semen at all. Therefore, first of all, we must refrain from making any uh, from giving air to any, uh, you, you know, know rumors. That's the outset. And the then outset we talk about the uh, According state to you, you will say that the BJP is politicizing. You will also say that the left is politicizing and your ally is questioning you. But according to you, perhaps they are also politicizing. That's why I asked you a very pointed question on how would you counter what the parents are saying. Well, in the presence of family member, the uh, post-mortem was conducted under the uh, videography and there was a demand, yes, from the very day one, there was a demand that hand over the case to CBI. Mamta Banerjee asked to give chance to Kolkata police. In the meantime, uh, CB, uh, High Court no, no, handed not, the case to CBI and Kolkata police is cooperating with all the question. materials. And the with parents all, are saying, all, the all parents are saying, parents are saying, especially the father, that the police did not maintain transparency with them. They were not happy with the lapses that they were pointing out in the investigation. And that's why they demanded a central agency to probe the matter because they did not trust the state machinery. Let me bring in uh, uh, Mr. Zafar Islam. Zafar Islam, uh, Tosif Ahmed says the rumor mills are running. Several rumors are being uh, peddled. Narratives are being peddled that are completely false. So there was an attempt to tarnish the image of the police and the state of Bengal. How do you respond? I think he's blind. People all over the country are on the street. The doctors are on the street. They are protesting. He still is behaving like a blind that he can't see what they are protesting for. The way Mamta Banerjee has handled the entire issue only suggests that she is somehow complicit in the entire episode. Because, as, as you rightly pointed out, that if first the principal called the parents and said that some something uh, her, their daughter is unwell, within 22 minutes, they changed their version and the statement, they changed their statement and said she has committed crime. She has committed uh, suicide. So within 20 minutes, who forced them to change their statement? Mm -hmm. Definitely Mamta Banerjee or the leaders uh, were working for the Mamta Banerjee. And that's why as a reward, she has been transferred to, or the uh, principal has been transferred to some other hospital where one can live comfortably without being asked any question. So that only suggests that uh, the principal was complicit, the Mamta energy was complicit, they were trying to. Then second episode started when they were tampering with the evidence. They were destroying the evidence and that's why she said initially that IV will hand over the case to CBI. Then finally, one week and then this is when the observation made by the, mm. the Honorable High Court, mm. they made, they realized that Mamta energy is simply trying to uh, uh, protect the uh, protect the culprit and do not are not supporting. She is not supporting the uh, case at all. Hmm. So that's why the uh, the honourable high court okay. came very heavily who, who on. Who was involved, government. complicit or not? That will have to be investigated. But as you rightly pointed out, I want to bring in Kamru Zaman Chaudhary. Will you also say that even the courts are politicizing the issue because the Calcutta High Court came down heavily on the handling of the situation, saying, "Are you rewarding this ex-principal?" Why was he given another post within hours? 
Swati, basically from Bengal, uh, I feel Bengal is coming into the national limelight or national news for all the wrong reasons over the last few months and years. Whatever it may be the incident, the Bengal government's handling of the situation from the day one itself has been suspect. Even we from the opposition benches have criticized when Sandeep Ghosh, the principal of Arjikar Institute, was transferred and immediately found his mention as a principal of a uh, nearby medical college that's hardly three kilometers, three kilometers away. You see, the incidents leading to the 14th of August mayhem at the Arjikar Hospital you know, on that night, when the ladies of the state gave mm. a call for reclaim the night, even we all of us were on the streets. Every landmark of Calcutta was occupied by the citizens. And the epicenter was RG Corps. The Calcutta police miserably failed mm. to gauge the intelligence as to how many people will be, will be, will be Jamayat at the RG Corps premises. They should have taken adequate measures. They failed to do so. Mm. Even after that, the entire incident, the entire, uh, what you call this, the, the investigation by Calcutta police was fraught with a lot of loopholes. Mm. Now, I doubt whether the CBI will be able to close this case because already a lot of critical evidence have been lost okay. uh, by, by, before the CBI took over. Mm. Not mm. only that, today, today you must have heard that around 40 doctors were transferred by Absolutely. the Mamta Banerjee government. Mm. The perception came out that... That, that, that these doctors were agitating, so she needed to transfer them all out. Health secretary had to come out on a press conference after a public outcry, withdrawing that order of transfer. So the basic point that I want to drive out here is that the administration in West Bengal right now is totally collapsed right now. Okay. Who is running the government? Who is giving the orders? Who is withdrawing the orders? That is a big, big suspect. But at the hem of the, affairs the is your is the Congress the party's ally. At the hem of affairs is Congress party's ally. It's Mamta Banerjee. Professor uh, Borujit Mandal, Udit Raj of the Congress says that Mamta Banerjee is doing politics just like BJP. Even the allies today are criticizing. Even the allies saying everything that was done by the government, the administration, the police from day one of this uh, investigation was wrong. That the administration has collapsed miserably. How do you respond? If the government of West Bengal, according to their whims and fancies uh, by the Congress or BJP, they have done everything wrong, what is the CBI doing for the last five days? How many arrests? How many more headways? What are the progresses of this investigation? Let's not, let's not go around circles, right? The Kolkata police did the best job within the 24 hours. They could arrest main culprit, maybe one of the one of the principal accused. The Kolkata police, police, police could, could protect all the places in Bengal on the, on the night of the 14th August, 250 places. Even Arjikot, not a single doctor or protesters were injured. It is only the Kolkata police who took the plant. They were injured, including the DCP of police, one officer in charge. Right? They were protesting for God's sake, and they have been called by the police. They are being arrested. Many of them, they, many, many of them have been arrested, and all of the, the so while you are claiming, the, while you are the, patting please, the back on, of the man, Kolkata man, police, have, and while you are claiming they did the best let job, let that they are the bestest point, force, right? perhaps. Why don't you answer the questions that are being raised by the mother? The mother and the father claim that there were other people involved as well. The mother is also asking, how is it that this individual, the main accused, knew exactly where the doctor was? Did he have that free access to all the departments? In case he had that free access, who all were linked to that main accused? Why didn't the Kolkata police find that out? Questions I'm raising, the questions of mother and the father. The CBI should, CBI should know and let us know what has happened. Kolkata police could, could get barely 36 hours to investigate. That's what I'm asking. And you are talking about the transfer? Yes, the transfer might have been wrong, but what is the, what has that got to do with the investigation? So are you admitting that the transfer is wrong? Might have been wrong. The might have been wrong. The transfer might have been wrong. It how be, else is one supposed to how else is one supposed to perceive that? The doctors are protesting, demanding a safe and secure environment, and amidst all this, 40 doctors are transferred. The chief minister is prote protesting, but against whom? The chief minister has the home ministry and the and the health ministry. Who's the chief minister protesting against? Yes, the chief minister was protesting for justice. 
moving for the justice the justice that the parents demanded and yes and and wanted from the state so the state is protesting now demanding justice very very interesting that's very interesting gargi nandi roy that's very interesting so so the ball is now in cbi's court what is the cbi doing if there are if if there are several unanswered questions what is the cbi doing why is yes. it not making headways yes swati the cbi must investigate properly but as mr kamru zaman said that maybe many evidence has been already destroyed you must be knowing swati that there was a room another room on the same floor of the seminar hall and that start they started doing renovation why swati why overnight they start broke that uh, wall and everything it is possible that the crime happened in the other room which is the doctor's room and then the body was transferred and those people there were few people let me tell you maybe some junior doctors and intern and maybe related to some tinomul mp tmc mp so they even washed their hands in that bathroom and also that's why they have started doing renovation and now tosif said they are uh, spreading rumor nobody is spreading rumor the post mortem report has categorically state that there has been 151 grams of whitish fluid found in the endo cervical canal i'm stating the exact word i didn't say say man it's a whitish fluid found in the endo cervical canal if there is any doctor what is that whitish fluid is it possible to come from one person no and when people doctors working there they went and found the body the body had brutally injured she was murdered out of some grievances because she had come you know, all, of that, Gargi, Nandi, all of that gargi nandi all of that the agency which is investigating now has to confirm now now the cbi has to come out uh, you know with one second one second with confirmation on the multiple theories that are doing the rounds i want to bring in i want to bring in lalita kumar mangalam as the ncw chief you must have seen a lot of such cases now and there are a lot of theories also doing the rounds ms kumar mangalam i want to ask you you know whenever an investigation takes place are protocols followed because in this particular case it's like an open field anybody can come in with their set of theories as to this happened that happened because perhaps initially the investigation did not proceed in the right direction agree with you first of all too much information is already in the public uh, eye which should never happen in a crime as heinous brutal possibly organized and totally merciless as this one uh when the parents asked they should have been replied to with much more patience much more understanding uh, the whole thing is a mess as of now the cbi before even you know going into too much more detail will first have to clear up this mess everybody is talking about the details of the case which should never have been let out all right let's see the facts now it was a brutal case probably not just about rape maybe revenge you know the details of how her body was found etc everything in the post mortem is, is terrible to even talk, uh, uh, you know uh, read about and let's not forget that vinith goel that is the uh, cop of kolkata himself yesterday i think in a uh, press conference admitted that the uh, police had committed some lapses because remember the high court had pulled them up pretty badly actually the high court was very very critical yesterday and i think that vinith goel had you know had no choice but to accept it there are too many questions around how the government allowed so many lapses to take place hmm. why the principal was transferred not sacked why did the police run and hide when that mob was going berserk how did that renovation start suddenly out of the blue mm. right next to where you know the evidence should have the room should have been shut off that whole area should have been shut off why is a, is is a chief minister who actually has the home and the health portfolios doing this natak on the street saying we want justice everybody knows everybody wants justice the point is that will the cbi be even allowed to get to the true facts that hmm. will let them uh, you know give a chance hmm. to get justice for this young girl and the bigger problem here is that now every female doctor is scared of doing night duty hmm. every female doctor across the country this girl was in a uh, was in a urban hospital hmm. there are many many girls who work in peripheral hospitals throughout the country hmm. they're terrified now of going what is going to be the economic cost of this this cover up 
the act is brutal. Yes, those fellows should be killed or, or whoever it is. Absolutely. Men, men, Absolutely. Miss Kumar Mangan, there's, the there's one other court? question that I want to ask you, and it's not related to the investigation. A lot of us women at our workplace, you know, uh, mostly compromise with our situation, keeping this in mind that if you come up with such reasons, there might be discrimination, that they might say, okay, you know, this person has this excuse all the time. So many women work around that, around their situation. If, you know, women tomorrow start saying such things that I don't feel safe and secure and I will not do a night duty or this or that, do you think the system is going to pay heed to that and make necessary changes? Or is the system only going to discriminate against those women? Because otherwise, as I said, the economic cost will be monstrous. They'll be phenomenal. Hmm. I mean, phenomenally bad, not good. Hmm. Look, let me make one thing very clear. Women want equality. To get Absolutely. equality, we need financial independence. For financial independence, we educate ourselves and we work. One of the biggest reasons that women today are feeling so unsafe is not just because of the way and, and the fact that this girl was murdered, but because the people who should provide security, that is the state, has totally, totally neglected its duty. Whatever excuses may be found, maybe criticism may be made, etc., etc., hmm. the state has just washed its hands almost for all the hype, for all the rhetoric. All that's right? a very important and point. No, that's a very important point that you make. And I want a quick rebuttal from Tosif on that. You've asked some very pertinent questions. Tosif, go ahead. Go ahead and answer why those lapses in the first place. Sorry, Swati, I, I uh, was that. What was the question? Can you please repeat? Just respond to what you heard uh, from uh, Miss Kumara Mangalam about the lapses. Why the lapses in the first place? The state has failed to provide security. See, uh, when you are when you are questioning the lapses, you have to be clear who you are uh, holding accountable. On one side, you're talking about Kolkata police and on the other side, there is hospital. Kolkata police is not responsible for the internal security of the hospital both, where the cameras both, will be placed. Both, will, both of them are being held accountable, sir. And is it not evident who, who's, uh, who needs to be held accountable? And, and When it and comes to the investigation, let me finish. when it comes to the investigation and, and the lapses in the investigation, the Kolkata police has to answer. Of course, because the crime scene was the hospital, state. the management has to answer. Why did the principal and the management did not file an FR? In fact, the parents are saying, till date, they have not contacted us. Till date, nobody from the hospital has reached out to us. And then the lapses Fair in the investigation. Yes. So both Sati, are equally responsible. Sati, I completely... I... I, I totally agree that it is a very valid question that why the uh, hospital authorities did not lodge a complaint. They were not the complainant and that was the reason why police had to start a un case of unnatural death. And by the way, unnatural death includes the case of murder. It is only after the inquest is over, after the post-mortem, that the case got converted into a rape and murder case. So yes, this point is is very valid question. And the principal and the hospital authorities remains answerable why they did not lodge a complaint with the police. Secondly, when you are saying with the lack of CCTV security cameras, again a valid question. But it is beyond the purview of the Kolkata police. Kolkata police can, cannot do anything. What happens Could inside the Kolkata the, police uh, not hospital? control the mobsters or that also is the responsibility therefore, of the citizens and the hospital? Is that the job? Is that the job of the police or not? A state government a state government removed the uh, uh, medical superintendent and other hospitals. No, no, I'm asking about the mobsters vandalizing the, the hospital. Uh, was that the responsibility of, of the police or what, no. was that also the responsibility of the hospital yes, and the people yes, who were protesting it, out on the streets? No, no, it was it was the it was the responsibility of the police. Now and tell the me how did renovation happen there? That now tell me how did renovation happen there? Because 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 failed, because because at a failed, crime scene, because if, if there's a crime scene, it no, has to be failed, cordoned off. No, Swati, it has to be cordoned Swati, off. Can the hospital go ahead? Can the hospital go ahead and carry out renovation? No, no, you cannot cut me down. 
I will not allow that. Swati, I will not allow that. I was answering a question and you cannot cut, cut me down in the middle because you never cut down any BJP spokesperson when they are giving the answer. You are raising question today. All camera is focused on Bengal, but you're not talking about the uh, Uttarakhand horror. You're Tosif. not talking about the Muzaffarpur horror. Tosif, irrespective of where this has happened, irrespective of where this has happened, when it comes to law and order, first responsibility, first responsibility is that of the state. The onus lies with the state. Right now we are discussing the Kolkata horror and questions will be asked to the TMC. And I'm not interrupting you, I'm just asking you follow-up questions because you claim that the bestest job was done and by the police yes, because you say the hospital so is accountable, because you're saying who are you holding responsible when you're asking questions about lapses. The come to Zaman Chaudhary, come in please. The police commissioner has conceded the... Yeah, Swati, Swati, yeah, uh, Swati, Tosif Bhai, just one minute. Swati, a very important point uh, was raised by Madam from the NCW out here regarding workplace harassment and all these things. Let me just inform. On 2013, we had the Nirbhaya Fund of 1000 crores set up. As an Indian citizen, may I ask the governments of the day, whether it is in the center of the state, what and where did you use the Nirbhaya Fund, the first question. The second question, when the Vishaka recommendations were made and it was done into a law in 2013, why such institutions like the RG Corps did not implement the Vishaka recommendation in toto? Who compelled them not to implement the Vishaka recommendation? These are the questions okay, so, that so, will so, come up so, in so every Indian's answer. mind. Because then these are very important questions. Let, let it not be lost in the debate. Important questions, let, let's take quick answers. Said Zafar Islam. See, Swati, first of all, we have to understand one thing, that what is the role of the state administration here? What is the role of the Home Minister? In this case, Home Minister is the Chief Minister and the Health Minister as well. The kind of support she was providing to the culprit is, has never been it's unprecedented. Because every move, every statement by the Chief Minister is only to protect the rapist. And that is why people are on the street, because instead of taking them to task, she was the one who was actually trying to protect them. And that is why everybody, even the Honorable High Court has come heavily on them. Even yesterday's observation, what did the, uh, the Honorable High Court has observed? Hmm. Actually, it has shown mirror to Mamta Banerjee that what, you, what did you do in Hathras? You actually were protesting in Hathras. You were actually coming out with long marks. Right. But to, uh, yesterday, the Honorable High Court actually showed mirror to the okay. Banerjee that all this thing was the drama. Okay. And when it happened in your but in, again, in you your know, I want state, to I want to quickly you are trying to yes, I also trying want to, to highlight to the larger them. issue that we are talking about. Yes, we are talking about uh, the the case in focus, which is the Kolkata rape and murder horror. But we are also talking about security and safety of women and Gargi Nandi Roy. It's not like uh, such crimes against women have only happened in the states that are ruled by the opposition. Such cases have happened in the states ruled by the BJP as well. So in that case, what, would one say that the state governments there are also complicit uh, with the criminals, complicit with uh, uh, the accused? Because the larger issue here is of women's safety. Who is responsible for that in this tussle between the center and the state? No, Swati, the thing is, as we know, rape is a social evil. We are not saying that a chief minister is responsible when a rape happens. But how the chief minister responds to the incident happening, that matters. And that is why we people are complaining against Mamta Banerjee. Because we have seen what has happened in Kamduni. Now the person given death sentence been acquitted. Okay, what happened in Park Street? She said it's a concocted story. If something happens, the chief minister, as the health minister, as the home minister, it is a job to take action. But it did not look so. Sandeep Ghosh was resigned and why was he posted?
because okay. he was the one of the greatest fundraiser. Let's act one. Even Shantanu Shell has been removed. Let me finish, please. Because people in Rajiko, the interns, to give their completion, get their completion report, had to pay money. PG students had to get pay money. Pharma companies had to pay money. Hmm. Uh, we don't know what medicines were coming to well, the as hospital. the court goes, so, prof prof professor, professor going? Mondol, as the yeah. court goes, justice must be seen to be done in this particular case. I'm not going by what the political parties are saying. I'm just going by what the family members are saying. According to them, justice has not been done. They did not trust the state. They wanted the central agency to probe. Respond, please, what quickly. Is the, what, is the, what is the central agency is doing? What are they doing? That's a question that I'm asking again, and, and, and for God's sake, regarding the women's safety, today only the Bengal government has taken a plenty of measures, including you know giving protection especially to the women. And please look into these issues. The government, uh, West Bengal government, is the first, I think, to categorically state, categorically state that there should be women's safety in all the hospitals and workplaces. There are there are there are slew of orders which has come out today only, just tonight. This could be suddenly delayed, but no, 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 no else it has happened. But do, I, do you wish me to dignify the comments of the BJP spokesperson? The Mamta Banerjee is uh, shielding the rapists. What is your CBI then doing? CBI, is, what is CBI doing? If, if Manipur was happening, Mr. Modi was shielding the rapists. Okay. That's okay. what your reference is all about. Okay. Shame on you for saying all this. Okay, Professor, you Professor Mondal, when you talk about the measures that your government is taking, when you talk about the initiatives and the schemes that they are launching for the safety and security of women, trust me, not just women of Kolkata, but every time such announcements are made across states, across the entire country, women really hope. Women really hope that these measures will be implemented in the right manner on ground. Women hope and, you know, somewhere uh, in their minds and their hearts, they feel a little valued. They feel seen that the government, the administration is thinking about them, that they're coming up with these initiatives, these schemes to ensure safe environment for them. And I'm telling you, women do need those arrangements to be implemented on ground. You're talking about a scheme to, 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 one second, let me finish. You're talking about a scheme initiated by your government to provide a safe environment. I am saying every woman is going to appreciate that if it works, sir. Every woman hopes that, you know, these measures taken by the lawmakers drive some fear in the minds of the uh, criminals, in the minds of the accused. But despite that, whenever such cases happen, that's when, that's when the women lose their trust. And that's when they have to hit the streets demanding justice. Thank you very much, uh, Gargi Nandi Roy, Ms. Kumara Mangalam and gentlemen for joining us.